Hey, yo, everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and uh, you're going to have to bear with me. I just got finished my run, 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, a little after 5, but uh, you can understand that I'm a little tired, about to go and do some weightlifting, but it's not what we're talking about today. We got a little bit of news to talk about. Uh, we're going to talk a little Batwoman, and we're also got a little, uh, little nice little surprise at the end. Um, so Batwoman, it seems as though the TV show is not going to continue with Kate Kane. Uh, the character is going to be written off and a new character is going to take its place and presumably take up the mantle of Batwoman. Be kind of a weird show if Batwoman wasn't the titular character in some way, shape, or form. Um, now this is not something new, right? Um, in comic books, there's always legacy characters, right? You got Flash, Barry Allen, Wally West, Jay Garrick, Green Lanterns had many different iterations. Uh, probably most notably, Robin, Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Stephanie Brown, Damian Wayne, you know, list goes on. Um, but I think, uh, this is definitely, eh, I, I don't know, an odd move. I can see why they would want to do it because... So far, the character has been established so much with Ruby Rose in this first season. But at the same time, I just... It seems kind of weird having someone else star in the, the role of Batwoman and star in this show. Especially with a lot of the plot lines and stuff that they laid down. I know they... Uh, I didn't get to finish the season, right? But I know they've introduced Hush as Bruce Wayne Hush. Um, so Tommy, Tommy Elliott is going to be a major villain and um they still have kate kane's sister it's just it seems kind of weird i don't know if it's the right decision um that it's it's kind of perplexing me right and uh forgive me with the sunlight um no that doesn't look better um it kind of seems like such a perplexing decision because boy it doesn't seem like the show is getting anything right and i wanted to like this show um because one i like kate kane as a character in the comics and two i love anything that has a bat on it i mean if they had a cw bat dog show right or if they had a harvey bullock show like you could throw any bat character on there and i, I would have been drinking it up um but um it's just like this show is not doing well it's on life support they should have just ended the show there. Um, if anything, why, why not bring Flamebird in and have her become the new Batwoman? Who knows? Um, but that's that's neither here nor there. Th that's the, the news, right? Batwoman is going to be replaced, but not by another Kate Kane, by a new character. And I know the sources say what the character's name is going to be, but frankly, I, uh, this sounds mean, but I don't have the... The care to look it up. Uh, I was going to get back into bed before all this happened, right? I was going to catch up on Batwoman and watch the series, and then it was a, a fact of well, now Ru Ruby Rose is leaving, and I was actually kind of interested. I'm like, oh well, I'm interested to see where season two was going to go, and then in addition to that, it was now it's not even going to be Batwoman, and. Granted, now I'm speaking out of my ass. Apparently, Batman killed in the TV series. The Joker, of course. <sighs> Dude, I really am getting sick of this whole Batman killing thing. It's a terrible, terrible plot line. Batman broke his code. No, see, the thing that's important about Ma Batman is he doesn't break his code. The second you have him break his code, he's no longer Batman to me. Right? And I'm sure maybe misconstrued. I mean, Titans did a good job at kind of alluring that Batman actually didn't break his code. And it was kind of Dick Grayson that walked that line and, and went down that route. But regardless, right, the fact of the matter is, is just like the show doesn't have anything going for it for me, right? Um, it's, it's on life support and it's it's sad too. It had so much potential, but it's just, it's it's falling apart, but you know what's not sad, right? A little, uh, little good news, right? I didn't get to read it, but in the uh, new Catwoman special that came out, the uh, 80th anniversary, I believe, uh, or the 80-page special, uh, they had a story in which, in continuity, Catwoman had become pregnant, right? And Bruce is now a father again to a little girl. 
could it be Helena Wayne? Hmm. Um, if and everything's pointing to this still being in continuity. If this is the fact, this is fantastic news. Um, I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm a fan of comic book families. Uh, kind of like the Starks. I want to see a, a nice big comic book family with sons and daughters and husbands and wives. Um, I love John Kent when he got introduced. I thought he's been a, a fantastic addition to the Superman mythos. Uh, Damian Wayne, while I was hesitant at first back in 06 when he came in, has been a joy ever since. An interesting character. Um, and now that we're getting a daughter to the Bat family, um, it's just going to make it even better, right? It uh, cements the relationship between Selena and Bruce even more. Not to say that they couldn't break them up. I mean, but still, I think that that ties them together beautifully. And in addition to that, it, it looks like we have a lot of potential going forward. Um, where that potential goes from here, we'll, we'll just have to see. But this is, uh, for me, some good news. And if we get Helena and Wayne back in continuity, not Earth 2, not some alternate universe, but actually that character, I think that uh, screams a lot of potential. But, but hey, listen, I'm just going to uh, stop right there. Uh, I just want to make a quick video about uh, this news coming up with uh, the Batwoman TV show, which is on live support, and the, the pleasant news that we got that we're going to have a new Wayne in the family. Uh, with that said, this is Andrew saying peace out for now.